Okay, this is a little bit different. I had a request, uh, someone that was watching one of my other videos, uh, they wanted to take a look at my toolbox. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but here we go. The uh, organization is not at its best. You can see I've got tools over here. Most of my electrical stuff is over here, uh, battery powered things. I keep all my chargers in a container, and you can see there's still stuff all over the place here. Um, this is a, uh, a, a snap on box that uh, was made for uh, Chrysler employees. Um, my father was a millwright up at Chrysler stamping plant uh, in Northeast Ohio here and um, anyways this is the box that he used and he does not like to work on things and I uh, took the tools that he had out of there and uh, put them in another box for him a smaller box and I uh, I took his roller which he was happy to get out of his garage um, Simple label system. They're just magnetic. They move around. It's not the best way to uh, do it, I suppose, but you know what? It, it does it. And some of the labels are accurate. Some of them aren't, but it gets it done. Sockets. I use a lot of them. So I made sure that they were in the top drawer. Um, you can see these are uh, cobalt, I think. Yeah, cobalt. These are from Lowe's, these dividers. Metrics over here in blue. Standard in red, extras, um, doubles, whatever I may need. Um, spark plug sockets, I do a lot of small engine work, so spark plug sockets and also spark plug sockets. Like I said, all this was extras. Next one's ratchets. Um, you got a couple little snap-ons in here. There's a snap-on. I think this is a snap-on too. Yeah, it's a snap-on. Most of it's Craftsman, it's easier for me to get it replaced. Breaker bars, like I said, nothing exciting. Extensions, wobbles, uh, swivels. And I got them broke down by size and size. Uh, when I say size, I mean length and uh, uh, quarter, three-eighths half. Wrenches, metrics over here. Standards, stubby, standard stubby metric. Ignition wrenches, which a lot of people don't use anymore, but ignition wrenches, crow foot. Uh, I'll use these on some small engine stuff. Um, and then uh, I've got these marked, these dividers. Pick these up from Harbor Freight. I just ground out. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it just fine, but the sizing here 3 8 5 16 half, 9 16 5 8 and then I've got quite a few, so I just throw them in there because those are the common ones that I use a lot. Pliers, as you can see in here, I got wrenches also. Um, crescent wrenches, crescent wrenches, pipe wrenches, channel locks or slip joint, whatever you want to call them. These things come in handy every once in a while. Uh, side cutters, big and small, needle nose or pliers. It's mainly small, some one big in there, and then all the different, you know, lineman wrenches, uh, lineman pliers, uh, crescent wrenches, to typical or crescent uh, slip joint pliers. That's what I meant to say. These aren't slip joint; these are adjustable, and uh, that's not adjustable either. But anyways, um, needle nose, different angles, uh, snap ring pliers, ring plier, snap ring. Uh, goofy thing that I got, uh, another goofy thing that I got, clench wrench, another goofy thing that I got, um, I don't know, it works. Uh, plug off on my fuel lines whenever I'm working on a small engine, uh, of course, channel locks, I'm sorry, man, I don't know where my brain's at today, vice grips, and then this is all filled with all kinds of stuff. Cheap tap and die, digital caliper, time rivet gun, fuel, bending tap uh, for my old Ford, uh, uh, my torque wrenches, all three different sizes, nut splitter, uh, body panel deal, and dumb as a drawer of hammers. There you go, drawer of hammers. Um, all my uh, punches and drifts and files, uh, pry bars, crowbars, whatever, 
some brass punches there. Of course, like I said, there's a sledge in the back. And then over to the side drawers. This is screwdrivers. They're kind of messy, but I, I can get them. Uh, the angled ones, small ones, really small ones, uh, bendy ones. And then uh, everything with handles on this side are cross tip. Everything with handles on this side are flat tip. Uh, a couple of spring removers I made from old screwdrivers, um, mainly for small engine stuff. It's uh, it's to pull the springs off of pulleys and that. Miscellaneous junk. It says cutting tools. For the most part, I guess those are cutting tools. Some wire brushes in here. Little files. Knives. Scrapers. Exacto knives. Old blades. Uh, this is really miscellaneous. That's what it says, miscellaneous. Pins, a couple meters. I keep these meters in here with uh, silica because uh, they're a little bit more sensitive. So anytime I pick up silica, I just throw it in here to keep them dry. Rubber bands, adjusters, pins, uh, brake adjusting tools, uh, uh, brake line cutters, pipe cutters, little picks. A uh, little taper deal. Uh, extractors. Hex key Allen. Anything to do with hexes or Allens. Except I'm, I think I have my other set out here somewhere. I should put those back. Well, I'll get to that. I'm still working on something there. And finally, and last, air tools. I just kind of put them in there. There's body saw. Here's uh, all the impacts couple of uh, 90 deals um, I use a lot of that of uh, just odds and ends uh, ratchets this is a cup this is nice to use for uh, bowls on carburetors for a small engine grinders um, little ratchets and uh, all my scrapers that's about it I've got tools still spread in other places too I've got some tools up there old tools um, this is all my son's stuff that's completely full this is all he's got all new stuff there's my electrical box all my electrical stuff's in there but I that's basically it I, I don't have much for I everything's organized for me um, do it your own way you got to make it to where it's comfortable for you for example I'm always into sockets and that's why they're up top if I wasn't if I was into uh, doing more wiring stuff I probably have my my pliers up closer or something I, I don't know but it's up to you so um, I hope that satisfies you if you have anything else you want to check out uh, let me know and uh, I'll uh, try to give you a shot at it thanks